We are rolling along with our prep football summer series, and we got a good one for you today. Joining me today, Rhett Stallworth, head coach of the Yuma Catholic Shamrocks. Coach, first off, thanks for stopping by. Oh, thanks for having us. It's always a pleasure. It always seems like there's a Stallworth on the field at Yuma Catholic. Your son, Rocky, our defensive player of the year this past season, this is going to be your last year coaching him. What has it been like in the privilege to coach your son now for four years? It's a different experience. Um, with this one, it's been a different experience, especially because, you know, he kind of, he plays linebacker. That's what I did. That's those things. I feel really comfortable there with him. Um, but it's nice to see him grow, nice to see them mature and become young men and, and to be right there and be in the thick of it with them and see the growing pains that they go through and experience it with them. And uh, it's a blessing. And I wouldn't have had it any other way. And fortunately, it turned out that way. So it's been great. And then looking at the schedule and the people at home will see this schedule on their screens at the moment. You guys got an absolute gauntlet, starting with Salinas at home and then on the road at Thatcher and AZ College Prep. So we're really going to see what kind of team this is going to be early on. Yeah, that schedule is brutal, and, 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 but it's what you need today because, you know, last year in 4A, there's, there's, I think there's nine sections, and only four of the sections qualify people for state based on the PowerPoint system. So out of that 10-game schedule, nine of those teams are, are um, playoff teams, and that's what you need because you're going to have to get PowerPoints one way or another to get in there. And, you know, ultimately our goal is to be in the top two or three so that we can get home field advantage during the playoffs. You guys had that home field advantage throughout the playoffs, really helped you get on that run to the state mm -hmm. championship game. Absolutely. But what's it going to take this year to go that one step further and bring back that state title to Yuma? Well, we've got to plug, uh, we've got to plug some holes on the offensive line. Um, our defense should be pretty good. We have a lot of returners there. Um, and we're going to have to find a way to, to – we're not going to be able to replace Tate Ford, but we're going to have to find a way to kind of plug the – the dam there a little bit we have a you know kind of a running back by committee approach right now and we'll see how that goes and again it's managing people that are playing both ways as well um we've got to get we've got to be balanced though and just play a little bit better defense and i think by the end of this you know we can we can pull it off it just depends on every year we've ever won a state championship there's always that one or crucial time where you just it seems like it's just a little bit of luck went your way or the bounce went your way or or something like that. A little that. bit of magic. You definitely got to have that, but you know, to be in to be in a position to have that, you got to create that, and that comes through the hard work and the paying attention to detail. Well, coach, I can't wait to watch you and the Shamrocks run outside the tunnel. Thanks for stopping by, and thank you all for joining us as we move across the U Yuma and the Imperial Valley all summer long with our prep football summer series. For the full two parts of that interview, you can head over to our website at kymacom sports. Now transitioning to baseball, the 18U Yuma Diablos summer baseball team worked their way up to the top spot during the weekend at a 15-team tournament in San Diego. To San Diego, head coach Farron Owls Diablos in the championship game as the three seed against the top seeded Fellowship of Christian Athletes team out of Oceanside. There's Calexico's David Lara getting the start on the bump for the Diablos. Laura was dialed in. Bottom of the second runner on first. Laura gets the swinging K. And we're scoreless after two. Top of the third. Diablos playing a little bit of small ball here. Cebolas, J.J. Robles grounds this one over to short. The speedy Randy Baez going to beat this one. The force attempt out. The Diablos, they got runners on first and second. No outs. Both will be bunted on over during the next at bat. Bringing up Colectos Andres Antaveros. The big popper does his job. That drive deep to left. Randy Baez from Calexico scores from third. The game's first run. Robles to third, and Baez celebrated in the Diablo dugout. Bottom three, two out, tying run on its second, and Lara induces a fly ball to its Cibola's Jordan Schofield in left to end the inning. Lara with four Ks through three innings. Top of the fourth, Copas, Fabian Burgos on second. Fellow King Daniel Zezueta at the plate. In the nine hole with two strikes, he gets all of that one. That drive goes deep to left. Burgos scores. Zazueta with the RBI double. Diablos had only three hits, but that was the that was it. The Diablos up to nothing. To the bottom of the seventh, Lara still on the hill. He, he he said he only thought he'd pitch three or four innings. Now he's looking for the complete game. He notches his eight strikeout of the inning for his second out. Lara one out away from a complete game shutout, and he's gonna get it with a slow roller to Burgos at first. A complete game for Alara, who only allowed three hits while striking out eight. The Diablos win 2-0 to take the tournament title. Here's David Lara, Daniel Zozueta, 
and head coach Farron Owl after the game. I had some struggles because our innings were so long. So I was there in the inning in the dugout for like 20, 30 minutes. So I got a little cold, but I adjusted like pretty quick. Like side relief, I've been struggling all weekend, and to deliver in a spot like that, I mean, huge, huge to come up for my team. It was a tough tournament, but uh, the, the good thing about it, the guys accepted that challenge and did very well on that. Um, the good thing about the other aspect is that the fundamentally wise, our pitching was good, the defense was good, and our hitting was excellent throughout the weekend. The Diablos outscored their opponents 21-3 and finished 4-0 over the weekend. The 18U Diablos have now won back-to-back -back tournaments in Phoenix and San Diego. Rush Volleyball is holding clinics this week at Yuma Lutheran School. Tonight they held a boys and girls co-ed clinic and on Saturday they will be hosting a free coaches clinic as well as separate boys and girls volleyball open gym and skills clinics for ages 13U to 18U. The cost of attendance is $5. For more information, scan the QR code or, or visit our website at kyma.com slash 